Hello everyone. I'm here to talk to you about some very, very serious stuff. There's going to be some big changes on the channel. Um, I'd like everyone to know that I have been a Christian for about 20 minutes and I just want to make some changes. I don't ever want to swear on my channel ever again. Uh, I don't want to post anything that's profane or degrading or mean or hateful. This is a channel of love. This is a channel of acceptance. And this is a channel of um, giving. So I'm going to donate $1,000 to charity every week on my channel. It's going to be great. Um, I'm never going to post, ever, ever going to post gameplay again. No video games anymore. It's sinful. It's not of the Lord. So you can kiss this unholy stuff goodbye. You see this? This is Fallout 4. <laughs> Never going to see those videos ever again. That's not of the Lord. Now, what is of the Lord is Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I wish I could say this video was sponsored, but <laughs> it's not. The Lord has blessed me with Cinnamon Toast Crunch. The Lord has blessed me with the ability to eat and it consumes sugary substances and have not affect my body in a negative way. Like my father. My father can't handle sugar. His body just can't handle it. He doesn't like it. He's like, he has some allergy to sugar. The Lord has blessed me so that I don't have that problem. You know? No, let me ask you. What has the Lord blessed you with today? What has the Lord given to you this week? And as we start the new year, I want you to think to yourself, how can I be a better person? How can I help my community? What can I do to be a better person in this world? And if you're not thinking that, and if you're thinking ungodly thoughts, like, I don't know, about how many women you're going to sleep with this weekend. Huh, don't do that. That's not of the Lord. What's up, the Lord? The cereal and uh, cats. What are you doing, Kina? Um, the Bible is of the Lord. Um, before some of you out there ask, whoa, the Bible doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Well, it does. There's some scary stuff in the Bible, and you better obey it, or God's going to punish you. It scares the living poop out of me, so I have to take fiber one bars. Ha! I can't do that. Littering is not of the Lord. Please dispose of your waste appropriately, whether it's a toilet, whether it's a trash can, whether it's, you know, dispose of your waste appropriately. That's what the Lord would want you to do. So this channel from now on is going to be about love, giving, Charity, like I said, we're going to do charities every single week. $1,000 donating every week to a charity of your choice. No LGBT stuff. You know what LGBT stands for? Liberty, guns, beer, and Trump. <laughs> oh, boy. Doesn't get any better than those four things. <laughs> Fiber One is delicious. Keeps me full, keeps me focused. Gets my eyes set on the Lord. But no matter how full I get from eating, I can never have too much of Christ. Never. You can never get full on Jesus. If you get full, that means you stop wanting him. You gotta keep wanting more God in your life. You can't just be satisfied ever. You gotta keep wanting more. You gotta keep wanting more in the Bible. You gotta keep reading the Bible. And guess what? If you don't read the Bible, and if you don't follow it, even if some of it may or may not make sense, some of it may seem inconsistent, some of it may be, I don't know, a little bit gory and graphic and incest and murder and rape, and it doesn't matter because it's of the Lord and you just got to accept it. You just got to accept it for what it is. You can't question it. I don't want everyone to know that God is going to be there for you. Fiber One Bar is kicking in. I want everyone to know that the Lord will be there for you no matter what. 
And I'll be here for you. So let's do Bible studies every... We'll do them six days a week on the channel. Six days. Bible studies six days a week and charities, charity live streams every single, every single week. Let's do them. Let's do them. What the heck, man? What the frick? Let's do them. So my question, I'll leave you with this is, who do you think you are? Seriously, if you don't love God, who the heck do you think you are? Because you can't do it without him. Neither can I. Be holy. Don't be simple. Pray. Don't have intercourse with men or women. Please don't. Not until you're married, at least. I've never even seen a vagina. I don't even know how to spell it. It's that simple. We need to speak such profanities or spell them. So, let's wrap this video up here. I'm almost done with my cinnamon toast crunch, so hold on. Oh, God. Uh, slap me twice and call me Susan. That was good. Anyways, everyone, just know that I love you very much. Live your life full of, full of love, not sin, but full of love. And giving and beauty, but for God. Because you'll ask yourself, what would Jesus do? And if you're doing the opposite thing that you think Jesus would do, you better stop! Thank you all for watching. I uh, super appreciate it. And uh, Papa God does too. And uh, tomorrow's video, we will be talking about the evils of the female body and uh, why women should just. <laughs> Just stay in the kitchen <laughs> and only have one to two children their entire lives because you know, sex is only for procreating. <laughs> it's not supposed to be enjoyable. Not supposed to be enjoyable. Well, we're talking about why sex is bad in tomorrow's video. So stay tuned for that. And uh, I love you guys. I appreciate every single one of you. And uh, I'll talk to you later. Goodbye, everyone. Come on, kitty cat. Let's depart. This cat doesn't wear clothes, so she's very, very sinful, so she needs to be punished. Come on, kitty cat. Let's go punish you. Fiber one bar is kicking in. I want... <laughs>